comes in. That's like the stuff that gives you views. Or you got a, a banging body and a baby ale. It doesn't sound fun. It just doesn't. Are you dating someone? Do the boys get to see their dad? Don't date a single mother. You are now tuned in with trophy. Go trophy. We can laugh, crack toes, be open. Go trophy only with trophy. Hey, Troll Squad, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a get ready with me slash QA, y'all. I asked y'all, like, how long has it been? It's been a while, like, it was a month ago. It was probably more than a month ago. But I asked you guys on my community tab to drop me some questions. I got like 91 questions. So we're gonna go through and try to answer as many as possible. I actually filmed this video before. Um, I was sitting in my bed and like the lighting was weird and the sound was weird and it was just weird. Hopefully this sound isn't weird. Y'all could probably hear the water running upstairs. I do live in an apartment, but whatever. This is pretty casual. I'm trying. Let me see. Is that better? Am I more centered? I just, I'm doing a, a wig video right now. So I'm like halfway done. I always do my makeup after. So I'm like halfway done with this video. The wig so far looks really nice. This Tanache hair. Um, and I'm about to just try to do a quick makeup. And I'm gonna wear these lashes, these Kiss lashes. My first time trying these. They sent me these in a, a PR box. So yeah, we just answering questions and getting red tea. I already did my eyebrows. Um, I'm not gonna get to all the questions, I'm sure, but I'm trying to get to as many as possible. Is it better being single is the first question. Um, no, I, I would rather be in a relationship to be honest. Like, I think most people want to be in a relationship, but in my situation, yes, it's best to be single right now, for sure. Um, I'm much happier right now. So for me personally, yes, it's best to be single, but I'm not trying to be single for, I think, should I do color contour? No, I'm not even going to, I don't even know how to do that. I'm going to do it around my mouth. I'll see if you do it around your mouth. Cause my mouth be all dark right there but yeah for me i'm much happier now i'm just i love being single but it's not something i want to like i wouldn't say for life is better to be single right now yeah it's best to be single i mean i wish i was you know having help in a relationship it's like relationships when they're the right one they make your life easier and better and that's how it's supposed to be but Nah. Right now, yes, it's best to be single. Um, do you enjoy the apartment or the house more? I love the extra space, but I'm tired of cleaning. That's exactly how I felt. Uh, I I love the house. Like I love that house. I just thought it was so beautiful, but it was so big. Like the kitchen was just so beautiful. Um, but it was too big, especially like me and where I am in life right now. So I will say I like the apartment more just because it fits more. Although I love the neighborhood of the old house and just, I don't know, I guess it's goods and bads to both. But I actually like this apartment. They have like their little issues, but I love like how my apartment is just so easily accessible and I don't know, it's like, it's pretty quiet over here and I'm close to all the stuff that I want to be close to. Everything is super convenient. And yes, it's a whole lot less to clean, even though I still, I still be struggling. I put on too much foundation. What high school did you graduate from? I went to Madison High School here in Houston, Texas. Do you miss your hair? You know, dang oh well, I miss my hair. <laughs> I miss it so bad. I really, I don't know. It's easier like to put on wigs and stuff with no hair, but I went with my real hair and like, yeah, I miss it. But it was a lot. I ain't gonna even like act like it wasn't a lot, but I don't know. I need to do like when it start getting longer, I just need to just be patient with it and you know, just embrace it. But yeah, I'd be missing it. Do I keep in contact with the kids from school, like my um, students from school? No, I do not keep in contact with them. Like, no, that's weird to me. Just to be keep, keeping in contact with little kids. <laughs> How is your relationship with my children's father? The relationship is okay. 
Next question. <laughs> Would you ever dye your hair a different color? Yes, I would dye my hair a different color. Um, uh, I want to do like red or like that copper. Ooh, ooh, most of my eyebrows. I need to get better at my eyebrows. I feel like my eyebrows are just always so freaking undone. I gotta take this off. Like when I'm doing my makeup, I wish I could keep this on, but I gotta get in in there with the lace. These look good. These look good. What y'all think? See, I gotta get right there. Right there. See that band? Uh-uh. Still got the band mark. Do you have a still have a good relationship with your ex-mother-in-law? We were never married, so technically. <laughs> but yes, we have a good relationship. I love her. She's a great grandmother. She loves her grandbabies and I just love like she's a big help like whenever I need a break from them like an extended break I could always send them to Louisiana shoddy and I do. <laughs> I definitely do. Are you and your children's father back together? No we are not. What is your dream car? My dream car is I don't know another car just any car like I've been having the same car for a while and y'all I'm not even in a rush I'm not be saying I want my mom car I want my mom car but the way that this economy is set up and the way that my goals are set up the new car is not the most important thing to me it's like it's down on my list like I, I want a house before I get a new car to be honest so I'm gonna be focusing on that type of stuff because a new car is really nothing but more bills you know what i'm saying i don't have a car note so me getting a new car is just doesn't make sense when my car is run so nicely it works it fits me and my two boys and it does it does what it needs to do it's like it doesn't make sense to get another bill just say oh i got a new car uh that was not even your question was it <laughs> But yeah, uh, I guess my dream car, y'all know I'm always, oh, why am I doing it? I know I don't know how to do all it. I guess my dream car is an Audi. I love Audis. I drove in a BMW a couple months ago, a BMW car, a SUV type of thing. And I loved it. Like it was so smooth, so quiet. I don't even know what's the name of it, but I love that car. So maybe a BMW. But yeah, definitely some type of luxury vehicle. I don't know if I'm gonna go with that next. I mean, you never know where I might be a year from now. Like I might just become a millionaire. Who knows? I can do anything open my mind to. <laughs> Look, I'm having a little pep talk. Let me go to the next question. Um, am I still journaling? No, I'm not, but I definitely need to. I write in my planner a lot now, but I know writing in my journal is something I definitely need to do. How do you find the energy to get up and go to the gym every day? I just, it's become a habit now. In the beginning, it was not so easy, but I don't know. It's not really. If you do it early in the morning, that's when you have the most energy. So it's not really about finding the energy. I, I would say do it in the morning because if you do it in the afternoon, that's when you have to find some energy because it's like, you know, your day, you you doing stuff, working on other stuff. But if you get out the way in the morning, you won't need to find energy. You just have to keep up with the, the discipline. And that's pretty easy if you just I pretty much set your mind to it. I mean, it's not pretty easy, but if you set your mind to it, and you just get dressed as soon as you get dressed uh put on your gym clothes then it kind of puts you in the mode to just do it and like if you decide not to go to the gym you just be walking around looking stupid with gym clothes on <laughs> every time i'm like okay i'm just gonna go lay down go back home lay down in bed and then i just get close to the bed i'm like girl you are not supposed to be here and you know it so yeah, just you just gotta force yourself in the beginning and then it'll you'll get in the habit of it. And I definitely believe in habits because y'all know I've been off and on with the gym for a couple years and I'm finally on. Like it's been three good well, ever since I put the boys in daycare, I think it's been about three months, three good months this whole summer of working out consistently at least four days a week. So that's great. 
I must put these lashes on. That's what they look like. And I'll be right back because I don't want to waste time struggling. Y'all see me struggle. All right, so the lashes are on. I think I could have cut it this one a little bit more. I, I can't wear lashes like the whole strip. I always have to cut a little bit off because it irritates my inner eye. I always cut like a little bit off the inner eye. But they are very lightweight and they look very natural. All right, so um, next question. So sorry I'm late. I'm not sure if you mentioned this on your vlogs, but are you seeing a therapist? You look gorgeous as always. Thank you, Felicia. No, I'm not seeing a therapist yet. Um, and probably not for a while. I think that I'm in a much better place mentally and I think I can do stuff at home until I see a therapist. And that is a expense that I don't wanna pay right now. So I'm going to self therapy until I get a real therapist. Um, but I definitely do want to get a real therapist. No, I have, I have, y'all do know I did that one session and I ain't really like her. <laughs> I know I don't have to love them, but I have to at least, they have to at least be tolerable to me. And then I was searching, like it was a couple times I was searching for them and then I just gave up. So, you yeah. know, therapists are like hard to find and I want to do it in their in-person therapist. I just want to do that. I think it's more personal and why not? I want to be like off of TV. Maybe that's my problem. <laughs> but I'm going to get one, just not right now because I'm like on a mission and my, my mental health is really good right now. Well, not great, but it's way better and I think I'm fine right now. Even though you don't have to be like in a min having any issues or anything. It's just good to talk to somebody, which I definitely know I need to do, but just not right at this moment. Have you started potty training Travel? You asked that a month ago. I just started, girl. When he turned two, and we're right now we're not in full force, full force, because I don't. I'm trying to think how can I do it with him in school. I think on the weekends I do it full force, but whenever he's at home or in the morning, whenever Terrell wakes up and go to the potty, Travel goes to the potty, and he likes it. And he'll like yesterday he even told me potty. He was standing on the thing on the um on the chair eating because that's what they do. They don't sit down. See, this is bothering me. And he was like, potty. And I was like, potty? He was like, potty. So he went to the potty and he did number two. I was like, what? My baby. I think he'll catch on much faster than Terrell. And yeah, cause he just, he just on top of it. And he doesn't like, um, where's my, hmm. Uh, he doesn't like his, like to be yucky. You know what I'm saying? His diaper, Terrell didn't give a care. But Travel, he doesn't like it last night. I ignored him because Terrell said he had to potty really bad. Um, like whenever it's time for him to go to sleep, they try to do everything not to go to sleep. So Terrell's like, potty, potty, potty. And I was like, okay, you can go potty. And then Travel's like, potty, potty, potty. And I was like, you don't have to potty. <sighs> Two min a few minutes later, after I put Terrell in, I start smelling, <sighs> y'all. It was very strong. So I was like, is this something in the restroom? It was very strong. I walked in that room. It was like a murder scene. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. He had to take another bath. I had to take off the sheets. I guess I learned my lesson. When that boy say potty, that's what he mean. How do you manage the first, how do you manage a first time single mom with dating red flags, do's and don'ts? I wouldn't know. I mean, I know red flags. Oh, I know the red flags, but I haven't started actually dating. So I can't tell you like my actual dating experience, but I want to make a whole nother video. Y'all I have an idea of something new to, that I want to bring to my channel. So I want to make a whole other video and that was actually something I want to talk about like dating single mothers, especially nowadays when everybody seems to hate single mothers, <laughs> like all the men seem to hate like on, online. It's like the worst, don't date a single mother. Like they literally hate us. So I wanna make a whole different thing about this. I'm gonna talk about that later. What gives you motivation when you need to get things done? I'm a mom of three and I always have a list of things to do with little motivation to get it all done. Oh, trust me, I know the feeling. I am 
I'm not going to call myself that because I'm not going to speak that into existence, but I've been known to procrastinate very much so. So, um, I went to the last minute. That's what gave me motivation. Know that I got to get it done. But I'm trying to be on top of it. And, like, as far as, like, keeping a clean house and keeping the boys stuff clean, it's motivating just to have that feeling of cleanliness and freeness. Like, when things aren't done, things aren't right, you just don't feel right. You know, when your house dirty or when you got laundry, it just don't feel right. So, I do love that feeling. And then I love that I can, you know, burn my candles. It can smell good. Have the vibes and stuff. So that's kind of motivation, but to be honest, I do not be motivated and I be procrastinating and I just do what I know I have to do. So probably not, I'm probably not the best to answer that question, but I'm getting better. Are you still thinking about being a sonographer or returning back to the work scene? And a lot of people ask me that cause I just filmed a video about like possible changes to my career, who knows? Um, and people ask me like, would I go back to teaching? Somebody left a comment like, that would be the best idea since I'm a mother. And I could always go back to teaching, I know. And I was thinking like, if I was to become a teacher, I wanna be a kindergarten. Ooh, don't wanna be a kindergarten. I wanna teach kids maybe a little younger. Maybe first grade, cause I was second grade, but I don't wanna be dealing with tests and stuff. So maybe, for, maybe kindergarten, but um, when I think about it, I just don't get excited about it, to be honest. Like, I just can't imagine my life being in a classroom as a teacher, dealing with all those kids all day, and then coming home and being a mom and dealing with my kids all day and on the weekends, and just kids, 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 kids. It doesn't sound fun. It just doesn't. So I don't know, I don't know about that. I have, I told myself, if I don't get my stuff together, my ish together within one year, meaning by next school year, then I will probably apply to be a kindergarten teacher or first grade teacher or something, I don't know. So, yeah, so I don't know. And then a sonographer, I was looking it up the other day as well and I was watching videos of people saying like, think about this before you become a sonographer. And I was like, you don't, you don't have to deal with people's bodily fluids. I mean, I know if you like the kind to do like the transvaginal ultrasounds and stuff, yeah, but like it's other stuff too. And it, it would be a nice challenge because I was saying that to myself, like, ooh, if I went to school, that would be so not fun, but it's just like an accomplishment to get a, you know to do something else and get into a different field but i don't know i might want to do something like start a business or to continue to do stuff on the internet because internet money is the best money when you own it you know what i'm saying like and it's so easy to go from making nothing to making something i don't know but yeah i i'm i'm thinking about all different types of possibilities for myself and one thing about me like I'm never, I ain't gonna never say never, but I know how to get a job. So I'm never gonna be like bad, bad. What, what the uh, people be saying, down bad. I ain't gonna never be down bad cause I know how to get a job. I mean, I know how to present myself and I know how to get a job and I'm gonna be good regardless. Like whatever I do, like whatever I do, I know I'm gonna be good regardless. I just gotta figure out what i'm gonna do and whatever i put my mind to like if i say i'm gonna do something i'm gonna do it and i'm gonna be cool like if i was to really put my mind to it and say i was gonna go to like not to be a sonographer and stuff then i'm gonna do it and i'm gonna get a good job and like i know that that's how i am and i mean just looking back at my past and just knowing who i am mentally and I just gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. Did I just say a whole lot of nothing? No, I didn't, I said still, I just said still. Are you dating someone? Do the boys get to see their dad? No, I'm not dating someone. I'm dating myself. Like I've been spending a lot of time on myself, talking to myself, reflecting, getting to know myself. But no, no men, I'm like really off of men. And y'all remember I said not at least for a year and it's been what, like six months and I definitely could do another three, four, five, six months. 
I don't know. I'm open. Like, if I meet somebody, I'm not about to block it. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm out and about and I meet a fine gentleman, then... <laughs> How has it been since the breakup? It's been good. It's been like a roller coaster, honestly. It's a, a different adjustment. But it's good. Did I do my blush already? Yeah, I did my blush. I would really like to know what you use on your skin. I am 26 years old and my, and my face is breaking out really bad. I feel I've tried everything. Your skin is so smooth and it looks healthy overall. Thank you, but hey, do not let this camera filter fool you, okay? This is a camera filter. But if I get off the filter, you can see my face, like what it really is going through. Like, see, look, that filter. Wait, can y'all see? But the filter be filtering. So I do, I mean, I feel like my face is overall good, you know what I'm saying? It's not like super bumpy or anything, but I don't have a perfect uh, texture and like I have hormonal breakouts like around my chin and stuff. Is that what you say you broke up? Oh, she said all over. But when I was your age, I used to break out a lot too. Like my skin was terrible and a few things that helped me was aloe vera gel i used to do uh, and I, I just started doing it because i feel like i've been breaking out a whole lot more i do aloe vera gel aloe vera gel mask so i put like a very thick layer of aloe vera gel on my face i put the picture of the aloe vera gel that i use in um it's like a mask is it's very stiff but it helps it helps me I don't know if it necessarily helps with breakout. I really, I feel like it does help breakout. It helps dry it, but also helps with the hyperpigmentation as well. And then I started using this uh, CeraVe face wash. So I used that instead of, cause at first I used to use like harsh face washes, like the Neutrogena's, you know, them, them harsh ones from like high school when you had acne. And <laughs> but um, I started using like more gentle products and making sure I moisturize and getting facials helped a lot if you can't afford to get a facial get a facial because it helps a ton they get them dang on uh extractions out like your pores and they like when they do the um the microdermabrasion they get rid of that that's that skin layer and they can really get in there and you can go on groupon to get facials that's when i first got my facial on groupon for the low low so that's what i did and just tried to keep it like consistent routine and that was about it it started to clear up definitely cleared up a lot after my uh facial what are your influencer plans i'm rooting for you and would love to watch you really take off um i have an idea okay and i think i'm, I'm gonna try to implement it like just a new thing to my um channel i think i need to like expand like my videos and like come up with new stuff do new stuff because i feel like my content is getting very boring because my life is boring another person asked that she asked like about like why don't why do, do, do i think my channel isn't growing and this was a month ago before i even talked to y'all about that but um i think it's just like my life isn't anything to aspire for i can't like of course my life is great blah blah blah. i'm a great mom blah, blah, blah. but like on youtube wise like i don't have i don't live a luxury life like i'm not a a mom who has like a luxury vehicle and lives in a big house and has this fine husband it's just not like that i'm just like a single mama out here trying to get it so i don't think my life is just that glamorous but like overall like with youtube growth you have to be like super glam super just put together and super luxury have luxury items and that's like the stuff that gives you views or you got a, a banging body and a baby ale and you know like that's what that's what gets you views on youtube or you're doing some controversy like talking about black women and we ain't gonna even talk about that so yeah i'm gonna kind of switch it up on my channel because why not why not try a whole bunch of new stuff so you guys will see i don't want to say something i'm gonna do and then don't do it uh i'm pretty much done with my makeup so i'm just trying to go through these questions what else do i gotta do i think that's it has putting the boys in school helped at all with your mental health definitely i was thinking about all my bills that i need to cut off and things i need to like get rid of to save money no the daycare ain't going nowhere 
and that's like the biggest bill but i love it and this just really helps me to get stuff done and just to have peace and just have my house in order and be a better mom when they come home all right y'all i think i'm done because i have a lot of i got a few more questions that i didn't get to but um yeah i'm gonna finish it right here in this video right here this is how my hair looks y'all let me get a nice little photo it's not, i'm a whenever i go back and sit down i'll probably like go with the hot comb and push it back a little bit so you can kind of see like this more this is the ooh, the straight hair from tanache and when y'all see the video i have the link to exact wig and all of that but Should I change my shirt? I might change my shirt for the thumbnail. Okay, so I just changed and put on this bodysuit, y'all. My stomach has been really, it's been showing out. It's been flatter. It's because I've been eating right. I've been working out and stuff. Like, hard work pays off. So, I just wanted to come back and show y'all my little situation. You know, you can't even see nothing. And I just put on a little bit of jewelry. And then I'm about to go film the rest of my video. So yeah, thank y'all so much for watching. As always, I love y'all. And I'll see you guys next time. 